Markets play a central role in people's lives. Disasters and conflict can negatively impact the population's ability to maintain their livelihoods and access the essential commodities and services they need. Humanitarian and development workers need to understand these lifeline markets to help people affected by crises. We have seen that good toolkits already exist to conduct market analysis, including the Rapid Assessment for Markets and the Market Analysis Guidance. These toolkits can reveal possibilities for working with or supporting markets with different types of interventions. However, it's not that easy to identify the appropriate ones. That's why we're using the oomph, which doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. So we came up with a catchier label for this response analysis tool, the pizza. We will try to illustrate how the pizza can be used to identify appropriate market-based interventions. Imagine an old pickup truck that suddenly breaks down. Dad, I know you like your old pickup, but it keeps breaking down. Let's have a quick look at the engine. You can do a rapid assessment by looking at the engine and identify an emergency intervention to temporarily address the problem. Hey, yeah, look, some oil is leaking. Let's just add some for now. But, well... Oof, we need to bring it to a mechanic now. You can also conduct a more detailed assessment with an expert to find the cause of the problem and agree on a support intervention to improve the situation. Then you could go even further and make a more in-depth analysis by considering other factors. Dad, it's time to change your old pickup. It consumes and pollutes too much, is not reliable and we are always stuck in traffic. <coughs> it makes me sad. But I think you're right. And seek a proper solution that addresses the cause of the problems. Once you have a better understanding of the market, you can use the pizza to identify different interventions to either temporarily address an urgent problem or to fix a more serious issue, depending on your context, available resources, and objectives. For example, Using the local market in Burkina Faso as a relief intervention by working with local traders and giving cash and food vouchers to households who have been displaced by the conflict, thus improving their purchasing power and food security. Supporting the fish market in Yemen by building a staircase through a cash for work project to help local fishermen affected by the crisis access the road from the beach, making it easier to bring their catch to the fish market. Developing the dairy market in Sri Lanka by helping single mothers affected by the conflict rebuild their livelihoods in a more sustainable way. Market-based interventions can contribute to improving the quality and impact of our relief and recovery interventions by directly helping people affected by crises or indirectly helping them by working with markets.